Hello YouTube, my name is Monica. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing these individual lashes. So I always thought that individual lashes were super hard. I was super scared. I ha I've had a pack of individual lashes for like a year, but I never put them on because I was always scared. But today is the day you're gonna watch me put them on for the very first time. You'll see how I created this natural cat eye look with the lashes and how you can mimic strip lashes with them and create them to the length and volume that you want. So if you want to figure out how to do that, stay tuned. So as you can see, I've already applied the individual lashes onto this eye, but I have not applied them onto this one. So first we're going to talk about the type of lashes that I use. I use these Ardell individuals. As you can see, they are the short ones. I personally wish that I had gotten the multiple length ones or thicker ones just because that these lashes gave such a natural look. As you can see, it's not like overbearing, but there's definitely a distinct difference in thickness. It didn't give me the length that I wanted. If you want like a more natural look that looks like a really like amazing mascara or something, I would recommend getting these. If you're more like me and you like the dramatic lash look and you want big lashes and you want them to stand out, get multiple length ones or buy like medium long ones or the Ardell Double Up Wispy Lashes. Those will honestly work best for you, but for now, this is all I have, so we're gonna work with this. So the glue that I'm using is the Ardell Duo Glue. I have the one that has a brush for lash strips because this is my lash strip glue, but Ardell also has squeezy bottle ones, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take a surface. I am taking my Hoola Bronzer, and what we're going to do is we're gonna take the brush from this and we are going to just apply it onto there. I already have like a little spot I used earlier for my right eye, but I'm gonna make a new little puddle next to it for this eye. So you can see the little puddle is right there. That's the old one. This is the new one. So you're gonna wanna give it like 30 seconds or so to get tacky because the glue doesn't even work unless it's dried a little bit, so. In this time, we're gonna take the eyelash curler and we're gonna curl our eye. Okay, so we're going to pick up one of these lashes with our tweezers and we have to be extremely careful about it. I ruined so many lashes on the last eye doing that. And then we're just gonna take this and we're going to dip it into the glue. And now what I tried to do is I placed it near the end. So I tried to go for more of a cat eye with these lashes. I wanted to be more fluttered at the ends. So just take the lash and place it super close to your lash line, but right on top of your lashes. And by the way, make sure you work quickly with this because I had to re-put on the glue a couple times just because it is a little tricky to work with. The motion we want to create is like a winged lash effect, kind of like the strip lashes, but in this case, they're gonna be a lot more natural. And I am essentially just gonna keep going until I get the look that I want, so. So I'm gonna start pulling it out a little bit more towards the middle of my lash. So this is the final product. So as you can see, they are super natural, but I tried to put as much of a cat eye effect into it as I could. They add so much more volume than length, but they still look really good. So I wanted to talk about how to remove them. It is a myth that individual lashes ruin your natural lashes, which is 100% not true. If you are taking care of your lashes properly and you take them off correctly, you will not lose any lashes. So the proper way to take them off is to take two cotton pads 
and rub some oil, any type. It can be tea tree oil, it can be castor oil, which is actually good for your lashes and promotes length. You can use coconut oil or olive oil, whatever you want, just don't get it on your face. Just put it on the pads and place it on your lashes and just hold it there for about like 20, 30 seconds and the lashes will slide off on their own. So when you're moving the cotton pads forward, the lashes will come off. With it. Well, that's it and hopefully you guys really liked putting on these lash extensions. I personally love them. They look super good and I think I'm going to try to do them more often to get better at it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave me comments if you want. My information is down below if you want to follow my Instagram or my Twitter. See you guys next time.